Blade Angel back here to save your wallet once again with another Cheap Cars video. This video does apply for the younger viewers. Yes, I'm talking high school even. So if you're looking for a cheap, fast, and functional first car, you're in the right place. So if you don't know what a sleeper is, here's the simplest definition that I have. It's a car that doesn't look fast, but is fast. Is there a more complicated definition for a sleeper? Of course. But look that up on your own time because I've got a video about 5 cheap sleeper cars that I want to get started on. Let's start this list off with the cheapest entry and a personal favorite of mine, the Lincoln LS V8. Make sure to at least get a 2003 version, otherwise you'll be stuck with a V8 making an anemic low output of 255 horsepower. From 2003 onwards though, the car is packing a healthy 280 horsepower, which can be further boosted with the surprising amount of aftermarket support that this car has. Unfortunately, this car doesn't come in manual, which may have resulted in a huge crutch to its potential. I remember almost buying one of these myself, and while test driving it, I couldn't help but to gun the throttle. The 3.9 liter V8 really sounded mean as hell, but I regret to admit that past non-car enthusiast me's reaction to it was, wow, this car is too loud. Was I an idiot? Absolutely. For my ears and my heart were not yet in the right place. If you're in high school looking for some cheap fun, but also want a four-door car to cruise around town with your friends, then this is a good place to start looking. Be prepared to shell out an additional two grand on fixing it up though, unless you get lucky and find one that has under 100k miles on it. The one I found only had 60k miles on it, y you know what, let's just move on to the next entry before I get an existential crisis over my past decisions. Pontiac G8 GT I was originally going to put the GXP version with the LS3 on this list, but those are too far, too few, and quite pricey actually. Also, I need it for another video I'll be making. It totally doesn't have anything to do with cars with Corvette engines. With that said, the 2009 Pontiac G8 GT still packs a nice punch with the L76 engine it's packing. 355 horsepower is no laughing matter, especially when all that is coming from a naturally aspirated 6 liter V8. This car just begs for aftermarket performance, and with the right upgrades, you'll find that the car is more than ready to deliver. Be wary of repairs though, as Pontiac is no longer around. Rest in peace. GM, for the most part, will have all the parts you need, but depending on the condition, you may even be finding yourself in need of parts all the way from Australia because of the L76 close brother, the L77, which is found in Chevrolet Caprice Police Pursuit vehicles. The 2010 Ford Taurus show has a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. Though the engine may sound similar, don't get too excited, as this car isn't packing 650 horsepower like the Ford GT. Though a four-door 650 horsepower car from Ford doesn't sound like that bad of an idea. Get on it, Ford. In regards to the show, don't mock or underestimate its V6, because with the help of two turbochargers and an all-wheel drive system, this car is hauling some serious ass, going 0 to 60 in just 5.2 seconds. You can find some of these cars for as cheap as 8 grand. Even and you'll be getting yourself a nice all-weather sleeper for the viewers who live up in the north. I'm legit considering buying one of these myself. I'm dead serious. You know, to shut up all my friends, coworkers, and family who always say, you need a four-door car if junk spaced. Rear-wheel drive is stupid for all-weather. It needs to be functional. Forget speed. Well guess what, motherfuckers? I found a car that can do all-weather, has four doors, trunk space, and can go fast. Yeah. Don't underestimate the car enthusiast community. We'll find a way. There is always a way. 2006 Lexus GS430. I figured we'd throw in a nice Japanese V8 on this list. But Bladed Angel, isn't Lexus an American company? Shh, shh, shh. That's what they want you to think. They're just pretending to be American. With that said, this car is a bit more on the slow side compared to the rest of these entries, despite being the lightest of them all. Regardless, a V8 is a V8. The 2006 models have a 4.3 liter V8 that is putting out some respectable numbers, being 300 horsepower flat and 325 foot-pounds of torque. Even though this car could be faster, I'd still say it's a worthy entry for those looking for something more reliable or looking for a power plant that is well known for supporting all kinds of turbochargers. So with that said, what the hell are you waiting for? Turbocharge this bastard! If your taste isn't quite American or Japanese, then how about a German entry? 
The 2003 Audi RS6 features a 4.2 liter twin turbo V8 that outputs 450 horsepower, making this car the most powerful on this list. With great power comes great price. This car is still on the cheaper side, but you can find ones that do get quite pricey as they range between $10,000 and $19,000. And for my UK viewers, you can find this car for around $7,000 to £10,000 in your country. Chances are, you'll probably need a few extra thousand in your pocket if it starts to show reliability issues. That's just what should be expected from a twin turbo setup. Sometimes, keeping things naturally aspirated help keep the maintenance down as well. The car is also an all-wheel drive like the show, making it an incredible 0-60 time of 4.2 seconds, and also some all-weather capability. After making this list, I'd be lying if I said I weren't considering trading in my Sentra right now for a sleeper car, but I still prefer saving my money because I like the rugged stylishness of sports cars. However, if you aren't about looks or style and just want speed to use it when you need it, I hope one of these cars are to your liking. Like this video, share it with your friends, especially with anyone who's nagging you about getting a functional four-door car. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for daily uploads about cars, gaming, and anime. Make sure to check out my latest discussion and gaming video and leave some comments behind on it. I'll read my favorite comments at the end of every discussion and gaming video. Other than that, thanks for watching. Blade Angel out.